need to recharge and like stop shaking. Like every little noise at the beginning was just like, what's going on? You'll never know with hitchhiking because like, oh, it's only two hours, but it can take more. I just arrived at my grandparents' place after five hours of um, train journey. So now I'm in the city of Wrocław. My journey started from my home city of Warsaw, from where I took a train to Wrocław to be closer to the German border. And from Wrocław I wanted to start my hitchhiking journey. First I wanted to reach Frankfurt, which was my middle point, and then find my way all the way to Lyon, where I was supposed to spend two weeks on a grape harvest. Tomorrow I'm planning to wake up early, try to hitchhike by myself to another country for the first time. I am a little bit concerned that my bag is too heavy because I was walking like, I don't know, 18 minutes from the train station and it was heavy. So maybe I will go through my stuff again and maybe I will send something back to Warsaw. Uh, it was a long day for sure and I'm excited, but I'm also very, very tired. So yeah, we'll see tomorrow. The next morning, my hitchhiking journey officially started. I gave myself four days to reach my final destination. Good morning! I am on my way to my first hitchhiking spot. I sent my stuff back to Warsaw, to home. My mom is gonna pick it up, so I'm very, very grateful <laughs> that I don't have to carry this. And we will see if the items are really needed or oh, if I can get through my trip without them. The gas station that I wanted to hitchhike from is around it, uh, is a fence and I could expect that actually because there is a highway here. So now I'm in front of the mall that is, is very close to this petrol station and I'm planning to find someone on the parking and ask them if they can, they can give me a ride to the petrol station. But I'm very sweaty now. <laughs> I hope it's gonna be okay. So I arrived to the petrol station and now I need to chill for a bit because asking strangers to give me a ride was so stressful and I need to recharge and like stop shaking. I had a ride with the Polish guy who turned out to be also a hitchhiker. He was about to give me the only 50 km ride but he gave me 150 and drove me almost to the border so um, I'm very very grateful and now I'm waiting for another ride and I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed to approach people uh, so I decided okay I will just stand and I will just wait usually it's faster when you ask people but I was like I don't have now the battery <laughs> to do that and I stand here and I, st I was standing five minutes and already two people approached me uh, so I, I'm waiting for a lady we'll see what is gonna happen, but I'm very optimistic. I shared my next ride to Dresden with the lovely married couple, and that was actually the first time when I had to answer the question if I'm not afraid to hitchhike all by myself. Having experienced only human kindness since the beginning of the journey, I answered, no, I'm not afraid. And then I thought that as long as I will get drivers like them, I'm gonna be just fine, because I've met such a kind people on my way, so I was hoping to meet more of them. And then it was time for my next destination of Frankfurt. So I am in a train to Frankfurt. It's when they dropped me off on another gas station in Dresden, it started to rain so, so heavily. It's raining pretty bad, so I hope I will make it. Who knows? And for two hours, I was standing there. I was standing in the rain. I was trying to catch something. One guy approached me and he was a little bit younger than me. And he was like, where are you going? And I was like, mm, Frankfurt. <laughs> and he was like, oh, you know, I'm going to somewhere else. And then he left and I was hanging out again at the gas station. And he came back and he was like, I'm gonna ride through Gleason. Gleason? 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 
and it's only 15 minutes uh, ride from Frankfurt. And I was like, oh my god, that's so great. We had a ride for five hours together, we were listening to the music, we were vibing, talking Ukrainian-ish, Polish, English, German-ish language. And it's so beautiful that you can just connect with strangers on so many levels. Uh, and he gave me a ride all the way to the Bahnhof. Now I'm on my way to Frankfurt because I'm gonna sleep over at my friend's place. This day was full, full of emotions. But I think I'm gaining confidence and I think I'm gaining also a calmness that everything's gonna just work out. I am excited for everything that will come. I was feeling so lucky. I didn't expect that I will get to my halfway point after only one day of traveling and I didn't even plan that I will sleep over at my friend's place. They invited me pretty last minute. And since I reached my halfway point, I decided to take things slower. I didn't hitchhike at all the next day. I used the advantage of the 9 euro ticket promotion, which allowed me to go all the way from Frankfurt to the city of Freiburg. In the city center I spent maybe around 30 minutes from where I took another train to the next destination to find myself a place to sleep. And now I'm in the forest. <laughs> we'll try to find a place to camp and spend the night because I have my tent with me. Uh, it's gonna be my first time uh, camping illegally. <laughs> alone. I hope everything's gonna be okay. I'm planning to just set up my tent soon and soon it's gonna be dark and go from the tent very early in the morning. I survived my first night in the wild camping alone in a forest. Now I'm gonna pack my things and go maybe eat breakfast because there is an area with table and bench here. Uh, I didn't record much uh, during the night because um, I was feeling quite stressed out like every little noise at the beginning was just like what's going on but I am very lucky that my boyfriend was talking with me through the phone basically till I fall asleep and with no rush I'm gonna head towards Bern, Switzerland to visit my friend and it's her birthday today it, it came out kind of unexpectedly because I didn't expect that I would go through Switzerland but it makes more sense now considering my roots and considering that I don't speak French and I understand a little bit of German so I think it will be easier for me to hitchhike in, in Switzerland than in more countryside-ish sides of France so I'm gonna eat now and then come back to the road So now I'm trying to find a hitchhiking spot to get to the highway. It's about two hours away from here to Bern, but you never know with the, with hitchhiking. It's like, oh, it's only two hours, but it can take more. Then I was lucky again. <laughs> My driver was going to the opposite side of the highway, but he detoured for me to drop me off at the gas station where I could freshen up and prepare for my next destination. Eventually my route was divided into two parts. First I found a ride to Basel and then from Basel I found a ride to Bern. So I reached Bern and then I left Bern. I had very nice drivers. The last drivers were Polish. We a little bit confused the ways. So they drove me outside of Bern. So now I'm going back there and I hope someone will catch me. But if not, I'm gonna take a bus because I have a bus in 20 minutes, so it's gonna be okay. After birthday celebration, thanks to my friend's dad who dropped me off at the gas station, I came back to the road. I am on my way out of Switzerland. Uh, today I want to find a way to Geneva and then to Lyon or 
to Lyon directly or somewhere in the between. So let me just stand in this hot sun with my sign and beautiful smile. And yeah, hopefully I will catch something. I didn't wait long for the next ride, but it wasn't directly to Geneva or Lyon, but my driver dropped me off in La Côte, which was the last gas station before Geneva. Soon, I hope to catch a ride to Lyon. I had a very, very kind and nice driver and she gave me a hotspot and, uh, and bought me Swiss chocolate as well. And it was so cute. It was time for the last autostop ride of my journey, which honestly was the most beautiful of them all because the driver drove off of the highway. It wasn't though directly to Lyon. He dropped me off in a French town that I cannot really pronounce, from where I decided to take a train to Lyon and from Lyon to the place of the harvest. Arriving to the place of the harvest meant that my first and very lucky solo hitchhiking journey came to an end. I was so amazed how everything worked in just the perfect timing, how I arrived one day before and that I spent only one night in my tent, because when I was going on this adventure, I thought I would spend all of my nights in a tent. I didn't plan to visit my friends, I didn't plan to use the trains in Germany, but everything just worked out as it was supposed to, I guess. So thank you for sticking till the end, I hope you enjoyed that journey. You can let me know in the comments you can leave the subscribe and the like button if you feel like it and i will see you next time <laughs>